Jeff Akuda went number three overall to the Detroit Lions, and now at number nine, the Jacksonville Jaguars select a Florida kid, C.J. Henderson, out of the University of Florida. With offenses trying to spread out the field, you better have some ball hawks in your defensive secondary. Well, that would describe former University of Florida cornerback C.J. Henderson to a T. A running back in high school, Henderson quickly adjusted to his new position at corner and made an impact right away, including pick sixes in back-to-back -back games as a freshman. This past season, as a junior, the press corner totaled 11 pass deflections, despite quarterbacks often ignoring his side of the field. Henderson grew up emulating former Gator Joe Hayden's game. With the right scheme, that's a player comparison Henderson can perhaps live up to or even exceed in the NFL. The intercept, the intercept. Well, that seemed to work out well for C.J. Henderson. Grew up in Florida, went to high school in Florida, played his college football at Florida, and is staying in the state of Florida in Jacksonville. And this is the first kind of surprise, I would say, for me in the top ten. And obviously, it's a need for them. C.J. Henderson is the next best corner in this class, but they also needed help on the offensive line. They also needed help in the interior of their defensive line. However, if you look at Todd Wash, the defensive coordinator there in Jacksonville and his scheme, they needed to find a lockdown cornerback in this draft. Henderson obviously fits that mold. The only question mark you have moving forward is, is he going to be physical enough at the, at the NFL level? He's a great cover corner. He's got a good instincts, good ability to stay at the hip and in phase of the receivers to be able to disrupt passes, but he isn't very active in the run game. And is he going to be a good tackle at the next level? Those are some of the question marks you had you know, from him coming out from Florida. However, it is a need for the Jacksonville Jaguars moving forward. Uh, Pete Prisco has been grading every pick. His worst grade was the last one, a B- minus to the Arizona Cardinals drafting Isaiah Simmons. Pete was worried about his physicality. I don't think that the worry is there for Pete on this. I, you love him, don't you? You love C.J. Henderson. I love him because he can cover. I, I, Brady's right about the physical part of his game, which is why I give this a B plus. There are so many guys in the NFL that I talked to leading up to the draft that thought he was better than Jeff Akuda. They thought he was a much better cover corner. But the, the you know the opinions on him varied so greatly. Some guys said he was better. Other guys thought he was an underachiever. So there's you know somewhere in between. But I think this fills a major need in Jacksonville. They traded away Jalen Ramsey. They signed Melvin to be a stopgap. He he shouldn't be star. I think now with with Herndon at one corner, Hayden at the nickel corner, and now uh, this kid at the other one, I think they got three good corners who could cover. So I give it a B plus. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.